today I'm going to be showing you my updated favorites for my makeup and then also you guys I never thought this was gonna happen this soon I am working with Ana Luisa for this video today we are a jewelry line that is based in New York everything is tarnish free long-lasting they also range from $39 and up, which is really good because I'm telling you, good gold jewelry is really hard to find, especially ones that don't tarnish. I am obsessed with hoops. I love hoops. I wear them practically every single day. So the fact that these are really cute, good size hoop and they don't tarnish is amazing. So these hoops are actually called the Tia Medium Gold Hoop. They were only $49. This ring is called the Laurel Ring and it was $75. All of them are stunning. Honestly, I really, really want the Tia Large Hoop. They actually are trying to be carbon neutral. Their goal is to achieve a zero carbon footprint by the end of 2020. This is how everything comes. It comes in this little box right here. And then it comes with these little velvet bags and I will show you in a close-up of everything. This is the little card that comes with the earrings on the back. It's so cute. On the back it says they look good attached to me, even better attached to you. So cute. Just the little things I love. Really, really excited to be working with them. I hope you guys try them out and if you guys are interested in my makeup favorites right now, keep on watching. Alright, so let's just jump in. The first thing that I'm going to be taking is the Juno & Co Moonshine Miracle Cream. This I've been using for about two months and it's just really creamy, really nice primer as well. So um, it kind of just does two steps. So not only is it hydrating, but it's also good to prime. And then for my under eye primer, I'm going to be taking Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For Darkness Reducing Under Eye Cream Primer. stuff going on I've been moving like it's been hectic so my foundation that I've been wearing is the it cosmetics CC cream with SPF 50 it's amazing like all you need is like one to two pumps it's so good I'm just taking it on a beauty blender Taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick in mink. And then to blend that all out, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Tantor in Fair. And then the concealer I'm going to be using for my face is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin 24 Hour Concealer in 2.3. And the two concealers I'm gonna be using under my eyes is the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in the shade Marshmallow, mixed with the Pat McGrath Concealer in the shade L1. go in with this one and kind of like spread it out so it's all over and then I'll dip in and go on my nose forehead cupid's bow and a little on my chin and then I just take the beauty blender and blend it 
blend that out. Seriously, my ride or die go to. Anyone says that they need a new powder, this is the one. TJ Maxx. You can go to pretty much anywhere, I think. I think I know Real Techniques has one. Um, Juno and Co. I think like were the inventors of it, but everyone has it now. because of my lashes like it looks kind of weird if I don't have makeup up there and then I just kind of like blend it with the other side like that so then that way it looks kind of like I have foundation on my eyelids above my lashes and again with the concealer I have tried so many concealers and I always come back to the Huda Beauty one and it's my favorite. The Pat McGrath is kind of just like to blend it out, honestly. I mainly use the Huda Beauty. It's just so good. Like, if you have issues with like under eye circles like I do, um, or even with like creasing and stuff, like it's really good. So I highly, highly recommend. Now I'm just kind of patting my face with the powder. And then I'll take a big fluffy brush and finally almost done um, everything is pretty much set up how I want it we'll definitely do a new house tour because it's like finally my like perfect aesthetic so I'm definitely going to show you guys that all right and then the next thing is I bronze everything with powder um, this is the Hula by Benefit Again, I always come back to this. It's just kind of like a go-to bronzer and nothing really beats it, honestly. And the fact that they have a jumbo size now is like amazing. So you should get the jumbo size. I think I got it from Ulta. So yeah. <laughs> I will powder contour now this is just the like really low end brand from Ulta but it's actually really good um, it's the essence brand and this is technically a matte bronzer but I'm gonna use it as contour and the next thing is I just take some more powder and just kind of chisel that out A big fluffy brush and just blend that out. Next for my brows, I'm going to be taking the Dior Brow Styler in the shade Black and I just run a line right down the bottom. I got my eyebrows laminated a couple months ago 
and I really liked how I styled them. I think I still, I think I should probably get them redone, but um, I still have been styling them as if they are laminated. Then you just take the other side. What I've been doing to kind of keep that lamination going is I've been using the Iconic London Brow Silk and it's just like this little thing. It's kind of like soap brows, I think, um, but it comes with this little like toothbrush. You just rub it on there and then you just comb them up into the direction you want. And then to darken them a little bit, I've been taking the Elf eyebrow kit and I'm just using a spoolie and taking that like wax, the darker wax color and then just brushing it through. It just makes them like a shade darker. And it just makes them like a shade darker. Blush. This is the Tarte in the shade Risqué. And then I just take this Jasmine and Green Tea Spray. And then I will take my Bottom Lash Mascara. This is from Clinique. I've used this in a previous video. mascara-wise because of my lashes, obviously. And the last thing that I do is I spray my face with All Night of Spray and use whatever highlighter. I'm using. The Amorezzi Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then for lips, I've been using the Dr. Laura I'm gonna butcher this. Dr. La Dr. Laura Devon. I don't know. Um, it's from Sephora. It's the Platinum Lip Plump. And I just use that first. And I've been using this lip gloss. This is the Bite. Plumping lip gloss in cider donut. Um, this is a pretty new gloss. I saw Julia from Julia and Hunter do like a sponsorship for it, and I've been like obsessed with it. And then that is the finished look. Um, I have a lot of stuff coming, I think, because. I'm finally like settled in the new place, so I'm gonna be doing nail videos again. I'm also going to be doing a house tour, like I said, and maybe some food videos because my kitchen is stunning, so I can finally start making videos in there because I love to cook. Um, I make really healthy but really yummy food, so I'm really excited about that. And then if you guys liked these jewelry pieces that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, please go to Ana Luisa. Um, there's going to be a discount code below and also a link that you guys can go to. It's Mary K10 for 10% off. So just be sure to check them out. It was really, really awesome opportunity. I never thought that with 1300 subscribers, I would get a chance like this. Make sure you guys check them out. If you did, put it in the comments down below and let me know how you guys like your pieces. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. And I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.